So in this video, I'm going to show you the things that I bought from Timo and also got free using the free gift reward system that they're currently doing here in the UK. Don't know if they do this in other countries as well. I presume they do. But here's the items. They've arrived. It took eight days probably. Um, I have that on the screen somewhere to show you exactly how many days it took from ordering and receiving these items. I've got in here stuff that I've purchased and stuff that I've got free. So when you sign up to team at the beginning, it asks you to flip a card and it tells you how many items you can get free when you order X amount of items. Now, when you do that, I didn't know this at the time. What they do is they give you the three or whatever number of items you are going to get free. So in my case, it was buy six, get three free. And... Um, my sister, she had buy four, get one free. So it depends on which card you flip, how many items you're going to get free. Um, what I didn't know is they basically give you the three cheapest items free and then you pay for the three most expensive items. If I knew that, I probably would have bought all three items roughly around the same price. That way you're making a better saving than just buying three random items and having the cheapest ones free. But nonetheless, they're free regardless. And then I've got a few items, two items that I won through the gift game thing where you refer people and you get um, points to be able to get free gifts. So I managed to win one of those as well and i was trying to win one for my sister she wanted something but wasn't able to do that but was able to win another one of another item that isn't here that will be in a future video so make sure you subscribe to check that out so let's see what items have arrived what they are like and what um quality they are basically so i don't know what's in which box so we'll just open them as we go along see what we get look at the quality check the items out uh, one thing i would say is the tracking on timo is very very good you can get day-to-day -day updates of where your parcel is and even though it's come all the way from china it's come within a week of me ordering it which is pretty pretty good of course, it's not like convenient as Amazon where you get next day delivery with Prime. But from coming from another country, it is pretty, pretty good. So let's open these parcels and see exactly what I bought and the gifts that I got. So let's open this up. I think I know what this is. This is one of those like electronic measuring devices that you can measure like the thickness and length of something. One thing I would say is it's very distinctly packaged. Well packaged as well so far. Uh, but yeah, this is... Does it have the name of the item? No, it doesn't have the... So it's a carbon fiber compositive digital compiler. So this basically, instead of you having to like measure something, you can just put these two points... Um, either side of something so if I wanted to measure this to see what the thickness is or the length I can do so without having to guess with a ruler or anything like that this will give me a precise measurement so which is really handy especially if you're replacing like a screw in an item that has to be a particular size or parts that need particular size clips when it comes to repairing like cars or like electronics something like this is very very handy to get the exact measurements so you get the right parts um, the item itself very light very light plastic build so you can see it slides doesn't come with batteries so that's something that i would have to buy myself um the general quality of this very plastically i think it is mostly plastic um which is expected because this was quite cheap to be honest uh i have the prices on the screen as well as in the description and yeah maybe it does come with a battery and so it actually does come with battery as well which is interesting because the description said that it didn't come with batteries so that's a bonus um you got your controls on off zero inches so as you can see if, uh, that's 6.4 millimeters so if i want to measure 
this Stanley knife, for example, I can measure the exact thickness as 23.5. Uh, a lot easier than using a tape measure and something like that. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This is like one of the cheapest items that I had um, ordered. So, yeah, even though it's plastic, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, even more happy that it's got batteries, even though it said it wouldn't come with batteries. So, first off, I'd say reasonably happy for this item. It came well packaged. It's not damaged. It's working. And, yeah, it's pretty good let's move on to the next parcels because i think they're more interesting than this item right so this parcel says it has four items in there as well now when you order from china from timu your parcels do go through uk customs so i'm not sure if customs open the parcels or they scan them or they do both but there's a potential that your parcel can get caught up in customs if they are slow in processing your order. So that, that's the real bottleneck that could happen uh, in terms of your parcel. So, okay, yeah, I know what this is. So this is a first item if I can even get it out of the box. It's well packaged. Really well packaged um, items. So the first item out of this big parcel, if I can get it out, is the mop scratch cleaning mop. Now, it's a flat mop. And you're probably saying, why would you order a flat mop? You can get them in the UK. The main selling point for me was this bucket because this allows you to use it almost like a conventional mop, uh, mop and bucket, where you can wet the mop and clean and dry the mop at the same time and have a more deeper clean. Whereas before with a wet mop, uh, sorry, a flat mop, you don't have a bucket with it that you can use and drain the water. So for me, it wasn't the, the flat mop that was the selling point. It was this bucket, which of course I can use with any flat mop here in the UK as well. So the box is a bit squashed. Um, that could have just happened from every's delivery um, rather than Timu. Um, but let's have a look inside. Hopefully everything is there. So let's open that. So first things first is we are greeted with the box. And all the parts are inside. And I'm gonna put this to one side. It's quite a big item to show in camera at the moment, but it's one of those mops So there's the flat mop itself, the items inside there, comes with two, two cleaning pads and there's the actual mop itself. So the overall quality of it so far is, I would say reasonable. The bucket is very sturdy, made of decent amount of plastic. Um, not the best quality, like, but again, this item was fairly cheap. I have the price under description. The main selling point for me, though, was this bucket. So it has a wet section and it has a dry section. So that, for me, was the main selling point of this. Uh, but we'll take a closer look at this, perhaps in another video, maybe later on, because this video can be quite long. Um, so I will do subsequent videos of each item. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you already haven't done so. And of course, subscribing to the channel enters you into our competitions. We just done a 500 subs competition or in the process of announcing the winner for that as well, where one lucky winner will get 50 Amazon gift vouchers. So if you want to enter our competitions, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel. It's that easy. So the next item here is a quick and easy measurement thermometer. So this is one of those infrared thermometers for your forehead. Um, again, this was like relatively cheap, much cheaper than one you would get in Amazon. 
Um, packaging is a bit battered, but that could happen in transport. These items are coming from China. They're coming in a plane and then they're coming in delivered by every. So this is where your batteries go in. Of course, unfortunately, this item doesn't come with batteries. Uh, so we won't be able to test it out right away. And it has a few controls here and the trigger as well. Overall, again, this is going to be plastic. So there's nothing much you can say about plastic. Um, you know, it's decent enough. Um, the build quality is okay. I, I do have a thermometer, or my sister does, that was bought from Amazon. It's more, I would say, better. But something like this is decent enough so we'll see how accurate this is compared to a thermometer you can buy on amazon and see if it does the job so that is the thermometer here so the next item is this veggie slicer now these are things you can buy in the uk again you can buy something like this from amazon or like a supermarket a home store but what I found about this was the price was pretty good, but it came with a lot of features, a lot of different blades. So it comes with all these items inside, comes with a peeler, an egg separator, wavy slicer, a grater, a larger grater, a coarse cheese grater, a slicer, different lengths of slicers, dicing blades, both large and small as well as well as a tray to keep all your vegetables in once you've cut them, which I thought was pretty good. So it comes with 14 pieces. The packaging on this seems to have held up a bit better than the other items, which is good. Of course, all the Timu items seem to come in a bag, which could make them uh, susceptible to being damaged in transit, which is always a worry when you're ordering something that's coming from China so maybe in the future they offer something in cardboard boxes who knows um, but yeah let's have a quick look at this item I'd say so far the build quality of this item immediately from just giving it a feel is far superior than the other items so far so this is definitely I think was a little bit more of the expensive items compared to the other items. I'm not sure. I have the price on the screen here so you can carry along with the total. But yeah, this is definitely made from better, stronger plastic. Again, we'll be reviewing each individual item in a separate video. It may be a short, it may be a full length video, but make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with that. So moving that to one side, seems like a never ending parcel considering that there's only four items in this parcel. This video is already 15 minutes long. So the next one here is a nail grooming set. So this comes in a very nice padded pouch, pretty nice. Um, how does this open? Does it flip? Does it switch? Does it pull? Ah, interesting. Interesting. One hour later. You push it to open. <laughs> so yeah, you push it to open. What's this piece of packaging for paper? So yeah, it basically is a nail grooming set. So I needed a new nail cutter. And this, I think, cost almost the price of what you'd pay in a shop for a nail cutter. And you get all these items. So why was I going to buy one nail cutter when I can get all these items and this case for the same price? Um... So yeah, it comes with some scissors, some nail cutters, a funky shaped nail cutter there. I don't know what that is. Um, it would be nice for it to have some instructions as to what each thing does. But I only really bought it for the nail cutters. So because I needed a new nail cutter as one mine was going a bit blunt. So build quality on this is pretty good solid metal um i could try to bend it it's not going to bend so yeah definitely made from some strong metal there or the at least the nail cutters are let's check out these scissors quickly well i don't know if you can hear that but they look like they could cut through heavy plastic they are probably good for cutting nails 
I presume that's what they're for. But yeah, again, we'll review this video probably in a short, to be honest. Um, but there's all the items. You can see there's quite a lot of them. They are available in different sets. So you can go with the items that has the set, sorry, that has the most items or the set that has the least items. They do vary in price, um, but they all generally come with nail cutters and they are a few extra bits as well. So yeah, this, this would be a nice little Christmas gift to give for someone during Christmas, like a stocking filler kind of thing. So yeah. Pretty uh, impressed with that. Comes with a nice case as well. It's nicely padded. Um, yeah, again, last two items. Really, really impressed with the build quality on these items. So that's this package done. Still got two more packages to go. So let's go. Right, so this package says it's got two items. I think this is that viral washing machine that you may have seen on adverts on YouTube and other social media. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, sure, you can see what the first item is. Well, I've never had to use a knife as much as this to get into packaging. So, some good packaging materials they're using here. So... In regards to the app itself, there's a lot of people saying, is it a scam? Um, clearly, it's not a scam because I've paid for some of these items and some of them I've won in the games as well. So you can win free items, but that's not going to be applicable to everyone. The games that are on the app are a bit of a scam because you need to invite at least six new members to the app to even get an item free in the first place and i think that gets increased each time you play those games so it's a limiting return on that um but one thing uh that did happen is one of my free gifts wasn't in stock so they actually gave me credit and allowed me to choose if i wanted the full value of credit for one item or choose another gift. Luckily, I chose another gift because there's multiple sellers selling the same thing on Timu. Some of them are offering the same item cheaper. Some of them are offering it expensive. So just like you would on eBay or Amazon, it's important to look at the reviews and see what else I am the seller selling. Is the seller a good seller or a bad seller? Um, is it too good to be true? All those things you do have to take an account when ordering off Timu or any website that sells stuff online. But my general impressions of the app are, yeah, you can get some things on there that you would like, but I still prefer Amazon over Timu. Um, but some things are a lot cheaper than what you'll get on Amazon. Some of these things are available on Amazon and they're way more expensive than what you'll find on Timu. So the experience can be mixed for each user. You may sign up to the app and not win a free gift. You may sign up to the app and your order comes and you're not happy with it. It's one of those things, unfortunately, when you order stuff online, is you're not really sure about the items until you get them in your hands. So that is the thing to keep in mind. Um, as opposed to those games... Yeah, I'll probably stay away from those games unless you've got lots of family members and friends that are willing to sign up to the app and help you get free items. Um, not everyone's going to be able to achieve that. Even if you do, um, they are time limited. So this next item, Tabletop Drum Grater. So this will be great for che a grating cheese, which is like the main reason I've got this four is actually just grating cheese for me when you're making like pasta or not pasta sorry when you're making pizza and you want to sprinkle cheese on top and you don't want to get that ready grated cheese from the supermarket um this is why i've got this but it's got other <laughs> features as well um you can grade <laughs> great loads of items the packaging you can see that's taken a bit of a, uh, a dent um, who's to blame for that? I'm not sure. Like I said, again, this has come all the way from China, travelled on a plane, then been delivered to every, and then every have delivered it all the way from Birmingham down to my house. So, yeah, who's to blame for that? It's been through customs. I don't know, but I would like to see Timu maybe include 
a bit of bubble packaging in the packaging to protect items a bit better or maybe put them in a cardboard box um but as long as the items don't come damaged that's the main thing um and by looking at this so far first item actually to come with instructions and that's one thing i have noticed people saying on reviews online is a lot of the items don't come with instructions but i guess that's a way for them to do cost savings as small as they may be or to offer items cheaper again this seems like an item made out of plastic like everything these days seems to be made out of plastic um but yeah build quality wise would i be happy to buy this if i saw it in a shop that's the question that you have to ask yourself when you buy these items online most times the answer will probably be a no but the price is a factor in everything these i would say seem to be very well made this little uh pusher thing it's got a few sharp bits of plastic on there i don't know if you can see that on the camera so it's solid plastic it's actually really solid plastic but a little bit of finishing needed to be done there on this item so again remember that question if this was an item i saw in a shop would i be happy to buy it is this plastic as well yeah oh dropping stuff here um but yeah everything's intact even though the packaging has taken that much of a beating nothing here is broken nothing here is cracked um everything is fine it's got a nice little rubber suction pad so if you put it on a surface it should stop it from moving but yeah quite a lot of moving parts and features to this so i'm glad it came with some instructions so again i'll review this in an individual video on the channel probably sometime soon within the next two weeks so subscribe to see that um oh yeah there's still one more item in this parcel and we've still got one more parcel to go so that's the, the amazing thing so far so many items so many parcels um i also indicate on the screen which items were free and won in which uh games on the app this is another cleaning household item there's a lot of household stuff on timu that i've seen for like your kitchen and your house um not a lot of stuff if you're into like technology and stuff like that um, whether that will change over time who knows again no surprise packaging's taken a bit of a beating here and this is all in chinese so i have no idea what this product's called but we can see by the picture exactly what it is is this instructions wow that's some pretty basic instructions that could almost get lost um but hey Something that's cheap, right, is always going to have some element here. So far, what I would say is the build quality. That's about 50-50 on the items. I would say 50% of them are pretty good. 50% of them, you know, are not that good. Oh, that's got a satisfying click to it. Okay. that's actually pretty strong so i'm going to leave that in case i break it without reading the instructions um bristles seem very soft here it's basically one of those broom mops you can actually get this in a supermarket but in the uk you can buy this off amazon it's not like a crazy special product or anything like that but it's just far cheaper to buy it from china than buy it at your local supermarket which is absolutely crazy um, build quality on this mm, it's good plastic the bars are quite strong will it do the job probably will it last mm, i'm not too sure um but if you want to know about these items i'm gonna say it again you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel to find out exactly how 
these items perform because this video is already 26 minutes long i'm gonna have to cut it down in editing somehow but yeah we'll review that let's get on to the other parcel because the other parcel i know is the free gift that i won which is the well one of the viral things on tv and social media so give me a second and i'll get that right this is a big parcel um and i've only got 15 percent battery left so i need to hurry up and open this parcel so if you've shopped from timu before drop a comment down below tell us your experience what was your experience like did you receive your items did every deliver your items now it does say on the timu app that they use royal mail yodel and every but i think most of the parcels are delivered by every but yeah what has your experience been did you receive your items were you happy with the quality what kind of items did you order did you order clothing my sister ordered clothing she said they were like primark level uh quality um obviously the sizing may be slightly a bit off i would personally never order clothing from an app like timu um just because you never know about the quality but more importantly you also don't know about the sizing so but she bought clothing she said they were like primark level clothing and she was actually quite happy with the clothing and the sizing was fairly right but i think that's a hit and miss item so yeah tell us what kind of items you ordered did you order any electronic items did they work and so on and so forth drop a comment down below in the comment section how were your items packaged because god they've used a lot of tape on them a lot of tape Whew. yes this is <laughs> the viral social media world this is the item that i want in the free gift um which my sis sister was quite jealous of because She's the one that introduced me to the app and she was trying to get a free gift. I ended up getting a free gift. My mum actually saw this and she thought it was neat and so I got it for her, which is the multi-functioning foldable washing machine. It's this item here. Um, I thought this item was pretty cool as well, to be honest, especially if you're like going camping, maybe you're going on holiday and yeah something that folds down and then folds up into this uh and washes your clothes pretty good you know um so yeah if you want to see this item in action um there will be a video very soon on the channel so make sure you subscribe to see that um amazingly so this box doesn't seem as damaged as the rest i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because so far all the boxes that have been a bit squashed the items have been fine so this one isn't as damaged it's a lot bigger of course but does that mean the items damaged and are we going to get instructions well it doesn't look like we're going to get any instructions i can't see any but let's take a look this Right, this item is so big. I'm not actually sure I'm going to be able to show it on the video. But from my initial impressions, it's pretty heavy. I didn't expect this to be this heavy, but I guess the motor is the biggest thing. Um, I may insert a video of this at the end of this video to show you exactly what it looks like because it's not going to fit in shot right now. So we'll keep this to the side. And... We'll have a look at this in a full video as well, real soon on the channel. So make sure you subscribe. How many times have I said subscribe on this channel? I've even asked you to like the video, just subscribe. Um, but yeah, God, there's a big mess to the side of me here. And the, the other free gift that I got was this laundry basket. So if I'm gonna get a washing machine, 
Why not get a laundry basket too, right? Ugh, I'm gonna have to order a skip just for this packaging. Um, yeah, again. Well, actually, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Does it even fit in shot? Um, nice rubberized handles, metal handles, as you've probably heard already. Um, yeah. For something that's gonna hold dirty clothing, you definitely cannot complain. I would say it's pretty good quality. Can I open this three up? Yeah, that is pretty big. I don't know if you can see that, but that is pretty big. I can put my arm in there. Yeah, and reach the end. And it comes up to about my shoulder, so yeah, it's pretty big, pretty deep. Nice little bag, and I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, subscribe to see the individual items in their own little videos. And if you entered our competition for the 500 subs giveaway of 50 Amazon gift vouchers, we will be releasing the list of the 50 people that will be entering into the draw for that one lucky winner. And don't worry if you're not in that list or you don't win the competition because we will be having a draw every time we get a new landmark. So when we hit 600 subscribers, we'll pick one winner, 700, 800, 900, 1000. And out of those few, we'll pick one winner. Plus when we hit 1000, we'll pick a winner from everybody. So you got twice the chance of winning really. And we'll do competitions in between as well. So make sure you subscribe because that's how you enter as a subscriber to the channel. Leave a comment down below if you've got any questions. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, we'll see you guys in the next video right here. There's a lot of videos coming up on the channel um, that are in the editing process at the moment. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I hope you like this uh, video. My overall impressions of Timu so far is, yeah, it's probably not something I would shop from long term. Um, but there are a few neat things that you may want to buy and because they're not that expensive, you can try them out and they do arrive quite fairly quickly. Um, it's a fairly good app. If you think Timu is going to be the next Amazon or have that level of quality, then no, that is not the case. I would say avoid the games altogether. Uh, try to enter into one of those competitions where you can win a free gift but you got to realize you got to sign up at least six new people to the app and that number is obviously depreciating every single day when new people are signing up there's less people for you to get to sign up in order to get your free gifts but it is possible depending on how many people you know so um if you're curious give it a go if you want to see what the individual items look like and perform uh, keep an eye out on the channel. Um, we've also got another item on its way, which is probably another viral item as well from Timu uh, that we will be checking out right here on RME TV. Until then, though, we'll see you in the next video.